boys and girls. It's so nice to be with you. If you are listening to this on Sunday morning, do you know what day it is today? Lammy, do you know what day it is today? Oh, it's Mother's Day. Oh, it is Mother's Day. It's a day to think about our moms and to be so thankful for the moms that we have. Lammy, what do you like so much about your mom? Oh, she's so soft and snuggly. Boys and girls, can you think about what you really appreciate so much about your mom? Mm, make sure to tell her today. You know, today's lesson is going to be about the ways God takes care of us. And the way we're really going to think about today is he gave us our moms. So we're going to be so thankful for our moms today. But we do have a Bible story we're going to talk about. And it is about a man named Joseph. And Joseph had a mom and dad. He had a, a dad named Jacob and a mom named Rachel. And he was born when his dad was kind of older. And so his dad just loved to be with Joseph and he loved to give him gifts. And so you can see he gave him kind of a fancy coat one time and Joseph had some older brothers and, and they didn't like that so much that Joseph got all these things, and Joseph is a little bit of a bragger, so uh, he'd have some dreams, and he told his brothers one time, I had a dream that you bowed down to me. Oh, that really made his brothers angry. And so one day, um, Joseph went out, and he was doing something for his dad, bringing something to his older brothers, and his older brother saw him and said, oh, let's do away with this dreamer. And so when they had an opportunity, they sold Joseph to some people from a far off country called Egypt. And they took him and, and, and Joseph went to that far off country for a long time. And he was a servant there, but he was a good worker and he was faithful to God and he was patient. And eventually he became a helper to the king of Egypt. During that time, there was something called a famine in the land. And in the land where Joseph's brothers and his dad lived, they were really hungry. They had no more food. And so Jacob, the father, sent the brothers to Egypt to ask for some food. And the brothers went. And who do you think they found in that country? They found Joseph. And Joseph was able to help the brothers. He had food. And um, I wonder, did he choose to help them? Remember, those brothers were so mean to him. Mm. He did decide to help them. He gave them food. He had them come and live in his country so that he could take care of them. And most of all, he forgave them. So even though it looked like bad things were happening to Joseph, God was taking care of him. And he was even taking care of those mean brothers so that they would have what they needed. Mm. And you know what? God takes care of us. God is big and powerful and he gives us all that we need. And one of the things he gives us is he gives us our moms. And so today I would just like us to stop for a minute and to thank God for taking care of us and especially thank him for our moms. Can we pray? Dear God, thank you for all the ways you take care of us. Thank you for our parents. And today, thank you most of all for our moms. Thank you for all they do to take care of all of our needs. In Jesus' name, amen. So as we're thinking about our moms today, I wondered if maybe we could do a craft that you could give to your mom. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You know, your mom's love your artwork and in these days where we can't get out shopping a lot to buy things I think it would be so nice if you made something for your mom and when I used to teach school every Mother's Day those big second graders always made a picture of their mom for Mother's Day and then they would write her a poem to go with it so I wondered if maybe today you could find in your house a blank piece of paper and a pencil I'm going to use a marker just so that it shows up, but you probably want to use a pencil just in case you want to do any erasing. So why don't you pause the video and go ahead and find that. Okay. When you're ready, now artists, really, when we're doing art, 
all we're doing is making either straight lines or curvy lines. So that's what we're going to do today in this picture we're going to make of your mom. So watch me. This is the first curvy line we're going to make. Hmm. What does that look like? Ah, oh, looks like a big letter U. Now you do that. See if you can make that on your paper. Okay, when you have that done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom of the U and make two straight lines down. Now you do that. Okay. Oh, this doesn't look like your mom yet. Let's go and make some eyes. Make some round circles, one round circle and another round circle. If you want to, you can kind of make some like little ovals around those or little curvy lines around those to make those look like eyes. Oh, that's looking more like your mom. What else does your mom need? Oh, she needs a mouth. Let's do a curvy line right down here. Oh, now you. What else do you think she needs? Oh, a nose. Mm -hmm. All right. It's kind of a curvy line and noses are hard, so you just do the best you can. Anything else? Oh, she could use some eyebrows. That's one curvy line and another curvy line. Now you. How about some eyelashes? Those are just a lot of little curvy lines. Now you. Is there anything else your mom needs? Oh, maybe some hair? Okay. She has long hair. We can do a big, long curvy line. We could do a short curvy line if she's got short hair. Oh, that's looking more like your mom. Now, boys and girls, you can fill it in with her eye color. Does your mom have brown eyes? Does she have blue eyes? Make sure to put her, her color eye in here. And then her hair. Is it brown hair? Is it blonde hair? Is it black hair? Color that in. You can make a pretty frame around it. You could put some flowers in. But most of all, make sure you tell your mom today how much you love her and what you love about her and give her a big hug. It's so nice to see you boys and girls. Have a wonderful day.